Good day everybody, my name is Dean and welcome to the Droit and Map SCADA online training. The following video is the second in a series of guides designed to help you the user become more familiar with our products. Today I'll be walking you through the startup of the servers and the logging in to the designer. For those of you not familiar with the Adroit products, I recommend that you head on over to the Adroit website www.adroit.co.za. Once you're ready to begin, you may launch your agent server from the start button. Launching of the agent server will open up the agent server window. This will contain load information about the agent server, including agents, as well as the physical database it will be loading. This database will contain all your scanning, alarming, data logging. Once the agent server's database has loaded, you will receive a load complete message in the agent server window. The maps or smart UI server window window will automatically be launched as it is a dependency on the agent server itself. You will then see that it will change from loading to running, indicating to you that your server has loaded. This server will contain all your graphic forms as well as your data sources. These data sources will connect to the adroit agent server and your Windows event log. You can create multiple data sources within this window. Once the server has completed loading, you may then begin or launch rather the Smart UI or Maps Designer. This can be done from the icon on your desktop. Once the designer has started up, it will prompt you for a login username and password. You can use the same username and password as Windows requires for you to log on to its operating system. Once you've entered your credentials correctly, you can click on the finish button. It will then connect and log in to the smart UI or maps server. The environment will then initialize and you are ready to begin working. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, I will be discussing the designer's environment. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope to hear from you in the comments section.